the I'm not attacking the. Let me set this up so I see everything. Ah, okay. Okay. Do you guys see it full screen? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Great, great. Okay. I guess I don't see anyone. Okay. Yeah, I won't get to see the chat. Okay. So. Hi everyone, my name is Kyla. I am the public relations chair at CSULP CKI for the term 2020 to 2021 and welcome to the CKI 101 webinar. So, oops, no, <laughs> okay. So what's how it's gonna work is we're gonna have a short icebreaker and then I'll be discussing what CKI is all about and then the levels of organization and then everything surrounding our three tenants Afterwards, we're gonna have a short Q&A panel where you guys can ask questions to new and old members about anything in CKI and their own experiences. Um, I also have some pre-made questions for them to answer. And while that's happening, you guys can also brainstorm your own questions and ask them in the chat for them to answer. And if you guys have any questions at any point, feel free to ask me. You can uh, uh, message in the chat and I'll be, try to check it every now and then, or you can just stop me in the middle of what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so for the icebreaker, I wanted to ask you guys, what are you looking for in a club? So feel free to share your name, your year, major, and a fun fact as well. So I can go first. So hi, like I said, I'm Kyla. I am a fourth year undergraduate student majoring in molecular cell biology and physiology. Basically, I'm a bio major. And fun fact, everyone in the club knows this, but for the new members, I love Hamilton. <laughs> I love the Hamilton musical. And if you do too, we can be best buddies. And for the question, um, before when I was looking for a club, I was looking for one that did community service, but also allowed the members to bond and like hang out afterwards because I joined a previous club and basically we just like did what we had to do and then we left. But then came Circle K and I found a club that was really welcoming and accommodating and everyone's really nice. So I'm happy to be here. So we're going to wait, there's stuff in the chat. <laughs> so we're going to ask other people can go next um, who would like to volunteer. No one, no one, no one. Anthony's raising his hand. Oh, I don't see that. Uh, okay, Anthony, go ahead. Hi, I am Anthony. I am a third year that is also majoring in biology. And a fun fact about me is that my pointy finger and my pinky finger, if I stretch them enough, they can be they can the same size, uh, some angles. But. <laughs> It's cooler in person, trust me. So you need me in person, I'll show you it, but yeah. And what, what I was looking for in the club was a home away from home. Cause I only went to like campus and went to the library, did my homework, then left. Not much of a campus life. But uh, one day I was walking and I saw Circle K and the vibe just fit and I was like, yeah, that's my club. Thank you for sharing. Who else would like to go? It's good to have more people. <laughs> I'm gonna call people. No one's gonna say anything. <laughs> I can go. Okay. Hello. Contrary to popular belief, my name's not Francis Fabie. My name's actually McKenna. I am a fourth year applied math and German double major. And a fun fact is I have been dizzy for six days now. That is, that is not fun. <laughs> I mean, it's fun because I'm spinning all the way around all the time. It's fun for us. Yeah. Anyway, uh, when I was looking for a club, I was looking, just like Anthony, for another home and a new place to fit in and be involved. And yeah, because I was coming from another club on campus that didn't sit right for most of the time. So I was looking for that place to have a special place in my heart. Mm -hmm. Anyone else wanna go? How about one of the new members here? <laughs> Do you guys like to go? 
and share. <laughs> no one? Okay, we will move on. Oh, let me just fix this. Oops, okay. So, yeah. So let's move on. Thank you guys so much for sharing. Um, so what is Circle K International or CKI? So we are the world's largest student-led collegiate service organization. Basically, we're a very large club and um, these numbers just show it. Oh. So we have 11,000 members worldwide, over 400 campuses, 17 countries, 33 districts. So we're a very large organization. And we were established back in 1947 with a simple mission to serve. So for the levels of organization, let's talk more broad and then we'll work in a more specific level. So first, starting with the international level, this includes all of Circle K, just everything. The next level is the district level. And this is a large area, including several states, provinces, or countries. So we are in the CNH district, which stands for California, Nevada, and Hawaii. And within that district, there are many divisions. So we are specifically in the Metro division. The, this includes several schools in an area. So for the Metro division, not only is, is, is it um, CSUOB, there's also UCLA, USC, El Camino College, um, CSU Northridge, um, LA Harbor, and et cetera. And then within that, we have the school or the club level. So Circle K at a specific school, CSUOB, CKI. And so I'll be talking mostly about things at the club level and a little bit in other levels as well. So in our club, we focus on three tenets. These are the things that we stand by. So we have service, leadership, and fellowship. So in general, CKI hosts a lot of events. You guys will never get bored here. We just have events for everything. <laughs> and yeah, it was overwhelming when I was doing this presentation because there is a bunch of events and I tried to simplify it and show a variety of events that we have here. Um, so first, starting with the service tenant. We, I'm, these are a bunch of events that we've had pre-COVID. So some examples would be I dig Long Beach. Um, this is when we plant trees around the neighborhood. We have tabletop service events. This was in the library basement. They would do like dog toys or backpacking for kids where they decorate canvas bags or um, pediatric doll plushies. Um, other things we do is the Help Me Help You event where we distribute and package food. Um, we have the Servathon, which is a bunch of service projects that we do with different um, divisions around and collaborate with them. We also have the DLSSP, which stands for District Large Scale Service Project. And basically what we do is we beautify boys and girls club facilities. So we paint the walls, we clean up, we plant around the place. And then we also have, I think this example was the Bolsa Chica Wetlands uh, restoration, restoration, yeah. So basically we just pick up trash and clean up the place. So those are some service events that we did back in person. Right now, despite the COVID pandemic, we are still really active in terms of the service tenant. We still carry out a bunch of service events thanks to our VPS and our service projects chair. I'll talk more about them later. So some examples of service events that we do is uh, Love Letters for Literacy. This is when you make these letter packets which are basically, you know, of the alphabet and that just helps kids to learn their alphabet. And we usually send this out at the end of the pandemic. We're gonna turn them all in and distribute them the appropriate place. And we also have seven cups therapy, which is honestly my, one of my favorite service events. Here, we're able to um, basically offer our, offer our ears and like listen to people who are experiencing emotional distress and they just want someone to, to listen to and vent to. And so you're just there to actively listen to their concerns and help them out. And it's really rewarding and fulfilling, I think. Some other events that we have is this educational um, environment presentation. So we work together, we um, create a PowerPoint that we will then present at key clubs and at QWINS um, uh, meetings. 
And then lastly, we have other things like um, online websites and uh, service events where we uh, participate in online websites and basically answer questions, trivia questions like free rice. We have UNICEF world word puzzles. We have math for good. So you basically do a bunch of questions and that basically donates money and funds to their projects and causes. So those are some examples of what we do. There's much more, I couldn't fit it all in. <laughs> Next, we have the leadership tenants. So there are a lot of leadership events and opportunities here at Circle K. So here are some events that we have. We have our general meeting. So here's an in-person picture of our general meeting. And then these two are just examples of our online general meetings that we're having right now. So they're usually themed. And so this one was an under the sea theme and we all had our virtual backgrounds according to that theme. Um, and yeah, and this, this is a plushy theme. Other events that we have would be like um, conferences, like this is the fall training conference. I'm pretty sure that's a district event. Um, there are other ones like right now, the district is holding a leadership development conference and it's been going on for like, it's, it's a six day, seven day event. So it's, it's really, fun and it's just very informative and it really works your leadership skills and everything. Um, some other leadership opportunities. We actually, I'm gonna slow down. If you guys have any questions, I'm gonna look at the chat for a sec. Okay. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the chat or stop me. I know I'm probably going a little fast, so I'm gonna slow down right now. <laughs> so uh, some other leadership opportunities that we have our committees and impact teams. So these are some of our committees and impact teams currently. Um, we have uh, technology, spirit, and media committees. And these are usually led by a board officer. Um, we also have an impact team and these are led by our general members. So anyone can start an impact team. All you gotta do is submit a proposal and a very detailed proposal and then get to, the, those are, technically more geared towards service or a specific cause. So here we have a mental wellness and feel free to follow their Instagram if you'd like, I provided it here. Some other uh, leadership opportunities is uh, going on board. So this is our current board right now. Uh, and it consists of the executive board as well as the a board or appointed board. So for our executive board, we have our president, the head of the club, we have our VPA or president, Olivia Chang, she's here. <laughs> we have our VPA or vice president of administration, Ricardo, he handles all of the A board and helps them out and is the right hand man of the president. We have our vice president of service, Audrey Halim. We have, or she's in charge of all of the service events and the calendars along with our service projects chair. Um, we also have our secretary. She's in charge of the meeting minutes and helping with recognition and keeping track of all of the hours. Um, we have, lastly, we have our treasurer, uh, Mariella, and she's in charge of all of the money and the funds. Next, we have our appointed board. So we're a really pretty large board. <laughs> we have our fundraising, Graphics, historian, Kiwanis family, um, our MD&E, or membership development and education. We have our men membership development and recognition chair, MDNR, public relations, me. We have our cervix project chair, special events, spirit and social and technology. So we're a pretty large board and there's a lot of opportunities to run for board. Um, if you have questions in their positions, feel free to ask them and yeah. Um, Moving on to the fellowship. Does anyone have any more questions at the moment? I'm gonna glance at the chat for a sec. <laughs> really large board, I know, okay. So lastly, we have the fellowship tenant. So in regards to fellowship, we also have a lot of events and opportunities. Uh, we have the family system, which is organized and managed by our MD&E and MD&R chairs, Guy and Jonathan. Um, and it consists of six families headed by the family heads. So um, it's a really great system to, it's basically uh, set up based on your interests. So they 
group you up into these families and you guys will have socials and there's competitions with each other and it's just really really fun we also have a mentorship system i should actually show that pictures here we go. So we also have a mentorship or mentor mentee system where you are paired with someone or like, yeah, you have a mentor and a mentee. So here's me and my mentor and my other and my sister. <laughs> and then some other fellowship events that we have is our uh, winter retreat. We usually go to a cabin and they do a lot of fun activities and events to bond together. Um, we have our Metro's Got Talent, just some talent shows. We have ice skating, fundraisers, uh, NMI, or new member induction. So as a new member, we usually have this ceremony where you are sorted into your families, and it's a really fun event. Um, we also have after meeting socials and fundraisers and things like that. So it's a lot. Um, some other fellowship events that we're doing currently is we still had NMI in an online format. It's still as fun as ever. Um, we also have some family socials, as I mentioned. We have a winter retreat. We have some other inter-family socials. This is us playing like an escape room game. And then even scary stories and socials. <laughs> so now we have the Q&A panel. Do you guys have any questions right now? Hello, hello. Um, okay, how, how do I pin you guys? <laughs> give me one sec, give me one sec. Ooh. Oh, I just closed the window. <laughs> okay, I'll start pitting you guys. Does anyone have questions? Does any members have questions? Mantamin, mean, do you still have a question? Your, your hand is raised. Yeah, I got a question. Oh. How often are service events in the service club? Every week. We have service events every week. I like yeah. that. <laughs> and we, I don't think I mentioned this, but you're not required to attend a certain number of events to be an active member or to be a member of this club. You basically customize your own involvement in this club. So. You can go to as many or as little events as you want. I have just totally X the window out. Okay, anyways, I'm going to start pitting <laughs> the panel. Lenore has a question. <laughs> oh, yes, so what is your question, Lenore? How do service hours work? Would, would our service chairs like to answer that? I think oh, McKenna's here. So um, hi, McKenna, would you like to answer the question? <laughs> yeah, of course. So the way service hours work is, well, first the BPS and I designate a event as service related. Yes, Ricky's basically summed up our distribution. Basically, however long you're doing service at one of these events designated as service, get to an hour. Um, there's usually attendance sheets too that log attendance and those who came. And when you left, if you didn't stay for the whole time, because I guess one small caveat is if you do go to an event, you are also not forced to stay the entire time. So as Kyla mentioned, you can go as ever long as you want. Sorry, you can go to however many events you want and you can also stay for as long as you want because we know people are busy and all that. And then how do we designate an event as service? Well, just if it serves some community organization or better cause in some way, obviously that's a little muddy and harder to do in an online environment but we are doing our best to still make it fulfilling and fruitful for other people, not just our club itself. So, yeah. And also, if you really want to go into math, if you don't stay for a whole hour, you can still get service credit for that. For example, if you stayed for 30 minutes, you know, you'd get a half hour, so 0.5 hours of credit. And yeah, overall, these hours are either for just your own record or if you wanna go for the district rewards that are awarded every year, you get awarded a certain amount based off, you get awarded a certain reward based off the amount of service hours you complete. And yeah, I don't think now's the time for to go into those though. So I hope that answered your question, Lenore. 
Okay, thank you. Um, if anyone has questions, I have questions, pre-made questions for our panel. <laughs> if they would like to. Who's share. the panel? Okay. I have pinned the panel. <laughs> I think you have to spotlight for everyone because they're not. Oh, pinned. really? Yeah. Yeah, they're not pinned. How how do I do that? It's it should be there lower in the <clears throat> drop down menu. Okay, I found it. Wow, Lenore, you know so much for someone asking Thank questions. Thank you. <laughs> I see. there we go. Can everyone see that now? Yes. Yay. Okay, okay. So wait, I actually I think this first question kind of answers it. But okay. So my first question for a panel is why did you join CKI? And everyone else can also answer if they like. <laughs> then here in the panel, you can talk. Okay, I didn't. Okay, I'm in the panel. Okay, so I'll tell you my first story of how I joined the club. So I was walking around week of welcome, right? And this crazy girl named Stella, she was like, bru, 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 join the club, join the club. And I was like, this is so intimidating, but so awesome. Let me just sign my name with this piece of paper, and the rest is history. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I knew someone who was in the club uh, just because I happened to meet him in a different club. And yeah, he was telling me about it and took me about a year or so to like finally be like, okay, fine, I'll go check it out. And so I went to this event where we were throwing beach balls at each other with questions on them. And it was honestly such a life-changing experience, that event, that I just knew I had to stay to see what else they had in store for me. Hi, I'm Olivia. <laughs> I'm the president of Circle K. Um, this is the question why I joined. Sorry, I'm a dingus. <laughs> yeah, yes. that's a question. Okay, <laughs> so I joined Circle K because I was in um, Key Wins in high school, which is also part of Key Club International. Um, and initially I wasn't planning on joining Circle K in college, but um, I, ended up deciding to give it a chance and attend their second general meeting. Um, and so basically I joined like on my own, like it was like, the only booth I went to during like week of welcome. Um, and like apparently like one of the people at the booth, they knew me. Um, so like, I guess that was nice. Like, I guess knowing like a familiar face. And then um, I think it wasn't until like new member induction getting our families. Um, I really enjoyed the just the vibes of the club, like Anthony would say, um, and just like the environment and the people were really nice and like um, welcoming. So that's why I stayed. Would anyone else like to share in our audience? <laughs> Well, I could also answer it. Um, so I joined CKI because it was kind of about the first the first icebreaker as well, because I was looking for a community service club that I could bond with. And I heard about CKI through Amy because she said she was a family head. I was like, what, what is CKI? But yeah, I decided to check it out during week of welcome. Don't know why I didn't follow that through until um, junior year, but I'm happy I did because everyone is so welcoming and amazing, like I've said. and. Yeah, that's why I joined. Who's Amy? She's not active anymore. She, Amy Nguyen. Oh. Yeah. Um, my next question is, why did you stay? But I feel like <laughs> you guys kind of answered that. <laughs> well, my other question was, what was your CKI moment or the highlight of your CKI experience? What do you think? Well, I have many, but I'll start with the first one. And the first one was going to an ice skating event and dislocating my shoulder within two minutes, but then still having a fun enough time to want to come back to the club over and over again and then eventually run for board. So, yeah. Nice. 
<laughs> I mean, no, it's not nice that you dislocated your shoulder, but that you kept coming back. <laughs> okay, I guess I never know how to answer this question anymore because I'm in the club for five years now, um, ever since my freshman year. Um, so definitely it always changes every year. You know, every year is different. Get a different experience, whether you're a general member, or board member, or like serving on the district board. Um, so I feel like I have I had multiple experience so far. Um, you know, freshman year it was probably like hanging out with my family, um, all the spontaneous hangouts. Um, but I think an event that I recently Pearl asked me about it, uh, district convention coming up. Um, I think that was also big Circle K moment for me too um just because well you guys know that I was in like fall training conference committee for three years um fall training conference is a big event in the fall um where we welcome all the new members into Circle K um but district convention is where I got to hang out with um you know my friends in the district all over California Nevada Hawaii um and you know it's also where we get awarded our like leaders in our club get awarded for all the hard work um they get recognized for everything they've done and where we say goodbye to our seniors so district conventions is always very like um heartwarming to me and I think that's always a big like circle K moment each year yes Anthony <laughs> Anthony you don't have to raise your hand I'm just, just polite, you know. <clears throat> okay, so my big moment was, I think it was the first week or during the week of awesome, I don't remember, but I went to the library where everyone was sitting, right? And there was two tables and they were both super full. So I was super intimidated to be like, cause everyone at the events were like, just come down and sit, right? And chill with us. I'm like, I, okay. And then I came and both tables were full and I made eye contact with someone at the table I, I think I think it was Koi or something and I, 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 was, I was like I was looking and I was gonna turn away but Koi was like ah, it's Anthony ah, I'm pretty sure it's Koi I remember now yeah and then I was like dude the, the tables are so full is he am I gonna sit alone at a, like a separate table staring at them and no no Koi was the homie and he pushed someone over and pulled up a chair for me and dude did that feel good because I was so embarrassed because I came and the tables were full. Yep, that's my moment. Koi, who did you push? I think it was Sophia or Caesar that was scooted away or pushed to the side. <laughs> I feel like it would be Sophia. Aww. Um, what my CKI moment was, um, I don't really know. There's like, I don't know, at this point, there's like a lot. <laughs> I could give like a recent moment. I mean, it's meeting my mentor. That was like my, my CKI moment. <laughs> <laughs> and that chopper tea fundraiser. Um, and um, we know it wasn't the chopper tea. It was um, after a meeting and talking to my mentor and getting named popcorn chicken. That was a moment. And getting into the, fam the family chat was a moment. <laughs> but also I think winter snowdown was a really, really fun moment or fun event. And I think it was special too, because everyone was just simping and being being very nice, like giving each other compliments and shout outs. And it was really nice and sweet. <laughs> I didn't even go to the Updog. <laughs> but yeah, does anyone else want to share? <laughs> oh. Okay, Ricky, go. Wow, I was not <laughs> expecting that at all. It's almost like we rehearsed this. 
And thank you, Kyla Anderson, my mentee, for calling on me at such a random interval. All You're right. Welcome. I was going to say the same thing Olivia said, but then I'm like, wait a minute. She's never said decon before. And now she says decon when I'm going to say decon. I hate Olivia. Um, so I got to pick a new one. I think one of my favorite moments. Oh, hi, I'm Ricardo, by the way. I'm the VPA. Uh, I was the one that looked really scared in the picture. Um <laughs> I think my favorite moment was getting to appoint everyone on a board and seeing everyone get really nervous during their interviews and knowing that they're that all the passion they want to be on board came into something. And that moment is um, Anthony's background fading into his hair and eyebrows. Please don't ever do that again. But yeah, um, just like Olivia, I've also been here for a few years. I've seen some things and uh, this is my second time being on board and I think being on board is a really fun experience that everybody here should do at least once. Um, <coughs> hint, hint, wink, wink. Um, but yes, that is my triangle L moment. Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you for sharing. Does anyone else wanna go? Maybe I can call one more. <laughs> I was just about to. <laughs> Nora, what is your uh, CKI moment? My CKI. Oh, hello. I'm Lenore. I'm one of the family heads. Um, what was my CKI moment? I think, oh, I know what it is. I always say this answer because it's true. My CKI moment was one of the week of awesomeness events, like the week of awesomeness going on right now. Wow. But last semester, just kidding, last year, it was a Bob Ross painting night. Um, I didn't know anyone. I sat in a table with Anthony, AKA my twin. Wow. I sat there and Ricky was there too. Yes, and we all talked and we painted and it was really fun and I felt really welcomed. And I was like, okay, yeah, Vi a vibe check was passed and then I came back and I'm glad I did. Dang it. <laughs> and JK was also there too, in the table, I remember. Wait, did you mention me? Yeah, I said. Okay, that's all that matters. Bruh, you weren't even listening, so it doesn't matter. Just kidding, just kidding. But yeah, that was my... my like CKI moment. No, JK was there and he was very nice. He let me borrow his pen to sign the painting. And he painted Squidward. I have good memory of that day. Okay, thank you. Eighty five pens. Eighty five degree <laughs> bakery. <laughs> oh, not okay. pens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, how, do I, how do I share my screen again? So yeah, no one else has anything to share. Um, thank you guys so much for coming. I have the resources linked here. I can also leave it in the chat. Um, but yeah. Also, Currently, we have Week of Awesomeness. So this was this, this is the first event of Week of Awesomeness. Tomorrow, we'll be having a service marathon. On Saturday, there's a Twitch stream where we, where we uh, st are streaming, I think, a horror game, Phasmophobia. Oh, Kyla, you're playing it? Wow. <laughs> no, I'm not. I think Jonathan is and Jake him. And then um, there's going to be a game night on Sunday, a scrapbook night. You can also... Uh, during the scrapbook night, it's also kind of like an info night where you can ask questions about our events while you're making the scrapbook. And then on Tuesday, we're gonna have a dance workshop by Hannah and a guitar workshop by McKenna. So stay tuned for those. And then on Wednesday is our first general meeting. So yeah, come out to our events. Thank you guys so much for coming. And you can also screenshot this. We're also, we also have an event page for this so you can stay informed. Um, yes. No problem. Sure. 
There we go. Yay, thank you, Kyla. Thank you.